ferrous ion by <coughs> potentiometry okay this is our next experiment within this experiment we are going to discuss about ion glassware and chemicals used in this experiment principle of the experiment and make up in the ferrous solution and experimental procedure calculation of the ferrous ion in the given uh, solution finally we will write our result this is the overview of our uh, experiment let us discuss one by one aim of the experiment is determination of the ferrous ion present in the given solution they will be giving some unknown amount of iron solution and we have to estimate the iron present in that for that we are using potentiometer and the standard calomel electrode and platinum electrode. see that this is potassium dichromate and sulfuric acid preparation of ferrous ion from unknown solution for that what we do okay we just you see we are transferring iron solution into the okay we are transferring iron solution into the smf by using funnel and glass rod see this is the unknown iron solution okay we are transferring into the smf uh, and okay you see that and any remaining iron is there in the solution what we do we will rinse it with water we will be rinsing it with water and again we are uh, transferring into the smf okay again we are transferring into the smf and once again we will be rinsing it with water if anything is there okay two three times we are rinsing it with water and we are transferring into the smf okay we are transferring into the smf okay so after this we are adding distilled water into the smf up to the mark okay up to the mark we are adding okay this is the process for make uping the solution how we are make uping the solution you see here here one line will be there we are diluting the solution okay up to the line we are adding okay this is the process for make uping the solution just see up to the line we are adding the water up to the end we are adding the water and once if you add it up to the line maybe we will be taking lower meniscus since it is a colorless solution okay up to the line we are adding the water and we are closing it with stopper and we are mixing it properly okay once if you and if you shake it what you will be entire iron solution or ferrous solution ferrous ion will be uniformly distributed throughout the water okay this is the process for uh, make uping the iron solution from the prepared iron solution we are pipetting 20 ml of iron solution we are pipetting 20 ml of iron solution okay we are pipetting 20 ml of iron solution exactly we are taking and we are transferring into the beaker we are transferring into the beaker 20 ml beaker uh, 100 ml beaker okay 20 ml of iron solution or ferrous ion solution we are transferring into the 100 ml of beaker once if you transfer the iron solution we have to add 20 ml of dilute sulfuric acid we are adding 20 ml of dilute sulfuric acid to this okay 
at the end if anything is there just slightly we are touching the bottom of the uh, beaker the entire iron solution will be transported into the beaker for that now 20 ml of dilute sulfuric acid we are adding into the 20 ml of dilute sulfuric acid we are adding it to the beaker okay we are adding potassium dichromate into the this in burette okay we are rinsing the burette with small amount of potassium dichromate okay once if you rinse it with potassium dichromate we can fill the potassium dichromate we are filling the burette with potassium dichromate we know the concentration of potassium dichromate in this experiment okay there should not be any air bubbles at the bottom and even you have to see the meniscus since it is a uh, color solution you can take the upper meniscus okay okay in order to avoid the parallax error just we have to be careful here and is now the prepared uh, iron solution and 20 ml of sulfuric acid and we are this is the potentiometer you see that here you are having two electrodes one is measuring electrode and one is calomel electrode okay measuring electrode and calomel electrode that is a standard calomel electrode sce they will okay if you keep these two electrodes in the iron solution and sulfuric acid solution what happens it will be giving the potential of the iron iron plus 2 okay you see that it will be giving in millivolts without addition of potassium dichromate it is giving 301 around just roughly you add 1 ml just and check it once Yes, we have added one ml of uh, potassium dichromate. This, uh, and we have to stir it with a glass rod properly. And, uh, you, we have to mix it with glass rod. During the measurement, we have to keep our electrodes inside the solution. Okay. That is uh, one more precaution we should take during the experiment. Okay. So what we are, we are mixing it with glass rod. Now, if you see the potential value, okay, 320. Initially, it was 301 something. For 1 ml, it was increased. Similarly, if you are adding one more ml, again, it will be increased. That means, why this reading was changing? The reason is, Potassium dichromate will be reacting with sulfuric acid and it is giving nascent oxygen. Nascent oxygen will oxidizing the iron plus two to plus three. During that oxidation, what happens? Our standard calomel electrode and uh, our measuring electrode. Yes, you see that measuring electrode is measuring the potential. It is increasing. For uh, second 2 ml, it is giving around 343. Okay, similarly, if you are adding one more ml, okay, what happens? Let us see. If you are adding, if you are adding one more ml, yes, one more ml we are adding again. Okay. So again, the value, just you see the value, it was increasing drastically around 393. Yes.
and again if you are adding one more ml of potassium dichromate what happens again iron plus 2 will be converting into iron plus 3 because sulfuric acid is there in the beaker and dichromate is there in a uh, burette if you are adding what will happen both these solutions it is a powerful oxidizing agent it will be generating nascent oxygen that nascent oxygen will oxidize our iron plus 2 into plus 3 see that again the uh, value is increasing you see that it is drastically increased from 400 to 530 it is a big change see that what happened what what is the principle or uh, the concept behind this uh, experiment is sulfuric acid and dichromate if you mix it will generate nascent oxygen nascent oxygen is oxygen is a powerful oxidizing agent it will be oxidizing our iron plus 2 into plus 3 at this point entire iron plus 2 has become plus 3 because by seeing by seeing the value by seeing the change in potential we can confirm the entire iron plus 2 has become iron plus 3 now if you measure you see that now there is no big change now we have added again 1 ml there is no big change okay 572 5783 or 89 okay but it is not like a 400 to 600 okay it is very minute change okay 600 to 683 okay this is the point and this is the volume we would know from the burette okay like this we have to add uh, 30 ml of burette solution into this beaker and we have to take 30 readings for each 1 ml okay this is the experimental procedure for estimation of iron by potentiometry okay still if you are adding anything just now you see there is no big change 622 in order to increase the accuracy and precision of our uh, experiment we have done our experiment for half ml okay in given in previous demo what we have we have added 1 ml of uh, potassium dichromate and we have seen the potential change but in order to get accurate and precise value even for 0.5 ml value we have uh, taken the emf or potential value okay So those values are shown in the present slide you see here those values are shown in present slide for 0.5 ml 236 has become 256 1 ml 273 1.5 ml it become 282 and for each 0.5 ml addition just you see the change in potential how it is okay if you come to the 7th ml still it is 361 okay still it is 361 and uh, one more important point in this table is del e what is this del e the difference between two successive uh, measurements that is second value minus first value that is we have written as an del e the potential difference third value minus second value that is the thing and fourth value minus third value fifth value minus sixth value uh, fourth value Sixth value minus fifth value, seventh value minus sixth value. Like that, we are measuring del G. Okay. Similarly, the volume difference also we are measuring. That is del V. The second point five point five. It will be constant uh, throughout the experiment. That is del V. Now, what we do? Just we will measure even del G by del V also. Okay. So why we are going for this uh, delta values? even if you want to see any minute changes it is possible only in 
derivative forms. If you are seeing these delta values or change in the potential values or change in value, we can see even minute changes. We can see even minute changes. That is the reason why we are calculating del G values and del V values, okay? Once if you measure these del E values and del V values, what happens? Even just you see at this ninth ml, del E by del V value is around 422. That means here there is a big change, okay? At this ninth ml, what happens? Entire iron plus two has become iron plus three. That means, uh, the potassium dichromate, whatever we used, that is 9 ml, is sufficient to oxidize the ferrous present in the given solution or taken 20 ml solution. Okay, that is the meaning. Okay, 422. Del E by del E value is 422. Del E by del E is 422. The amount of value uh, or amount of dichromate used for this is this one, amount of dichromate used for this oxidation or for this reading is 9 ml. You keep in mind, our answer should be either in between 9 ml and 9.5 ml, okay? Let us, if you draw a graph between del E by del V versus the volume of dichromate on X axis, del E by del V values on Y axis, what happens? And you will be getting a peak like this. The peak maxima will be giving us the volume of dichromate required to oxidize the uh, ferrous ion to ferric ion. Okay. So from this graph, what we uh, what we can obtain, we can obtain the amount of potassium dichromate required to oxidize. Uh, ferrous ion to ferric ion, okay? Uh, this is, is one of the important step in this experiment. That means plotting a graph between uh, the values between del E by del V versus the volume of potassium dichromate. Now, we know the concentration of potassium dichromate and we know the volume of potassium dichromate and uh, we can calculate the amount of iron present in the given solution. Let us, uh, for that, first we have to find out the iron concentration first, okay? Uh, you see the calculation part, there's a volume of dichromate, 9 ml from the graph, and dichromate concentration is 0.1 normality. Iron solution, how much we use? 20 ml, and iron solution concentration, into value equal to the potassium dichromate volume into concentration. Now, if you send the volume of iron solution that side, nine into 0.1 by 20 will give us the iron concentration that is 0 0.045 normality. Any metal ion concentration into its atomic weight will give us the amount of uh, uh, the particular metal present in the one liter solution. But during our makeup process, or make up in the iron solution, we have made only 100 ml solution, okay? So now we have to divide our weight of our iron solution or weight of the iron amount with 10 because we have made only 100 ml solution. We have not made for one liter, okay? So now if you divide it with 10, we get 0 0.2532 grams, that means, the amount of ferrous ion present in the given solution is 0.2532 grams. This is our result. And uh, I am happy to acknowledge uh, my research scholars at this point, J.J. Kant and Prasanta, uh, for their help to execute this uh, experiment or uh, for executing the demo of this experiment. And thank you for your uh, attention.